Supply ships keep fighting ships at sea, in combat. Though hundreds of miles from Pearl Harbor, though thousands of miles from California, there is no lack of essential ammunition, food, materiel, fuel, to keep the enemy on the run, to give those in battle more than they need to fight their fight. Other carriers roam far afield to pound down such enemy bastions as truck, a formidable fleet anchorage in the Central Pacific, an island the Japanese have encrusted with armament, aircraft, pilots, and soldiers in their attempt to dominate Micronesia. squadron, group after group. The carriers hurl skyward young pilots who will help break the Japanese hold on the Central Pacific. Twelve fast carriers, 100 planes to every ship, fighting Hellcats, dive-bombing Dauntlesses, Avengers armed with torpedoes, winged warcraft fill the sky. centers come the first warnings of counterattack, and all hands know the carriers will be the major targets. Radar data is swiftly translated into symbols and precisely plotted. The meaning of plot and symbol is all too clear, all too simple. Enemy planes approaching.
fighter direction officers order out the carrier's combat air patrol to intercept the attackers, beat them off, shoot them down. planes bomb and strafe in close support of the guy on the ground who is slugging it out with a rifle, a carbine, or perhaps a hand grenade, flamethrower, or bayonet. But it works. American soldiers, sailors, marines, airmen, as a team, crack, and then pulverize the Japanese and their defenses. The Japanese never give up until they die. But there are always a few survivors, too stunned to fight on, too broken to resist. shattered and crippled.
planes and their pilots, the ships and their sailors, the landing troops have destroyed the Japanese in the Central Pacific. They have profoundly altered the course of World War II. They have torn over 800,000 square miles of Pacific Ocean area from the enemy. Tarawa, Kwajalein, any we talk, war. Tarawa, Kwajalein, any we talk, sacrifice. Tarawa, Kwajalein, any we talk, victory. ever sacred in our hearts, and that the sacrifice which they have offered for our country's cause may be acceptable in thy sight. And may this sailor find repose with the plane in which he gave his life, that we might live. Into thy hands, O Lord, we commend the soul of thy servant departed, now called unto eternal rest, and we commit his body to the deep.